Like terrorist gun, yeah. Oh, it's ISIS gun. <laughs> ISIS gun. No, it's the it's the well it's the most well known gun. That, mm -hmm. that yeah. Is. So this one is the accuracy is not very good. Uh, stabilization is not very good yeah. as well, but it's very reliable. Yeah, yeah. I, I heard. So it's very easy for you to it yeah yeah mass produce. Yeah, within around one minute. Yeah. And actually, in high school and university right now, we still have to learn how to use it. In High school? high school and university. So you you know how to use the AK? Yeah, basically, it's just some basic technique. Basic like technique. How to disassemble the gun. Yes. Oh, really? To reassemble, that. reassemble it. And also, it's like crawling with the guns or your belly. Oh, really? Um, yeah. That's interesting. Like aim with the how laser. To aim down the side. <laughs> no. To throw a grenade. Oh, really? Still. So the you're basically uh, war ready then? Battle ready? A little bit. Technically, yeah. technically, technically. <laughs> don't have to we are serious. trained, yeah. but then you don't use it, you lose it. So yeah. yeah. I can, but how old are you when you train? Uh, uh, one time's like 17, 19, years old. 20. Oh, okay, so you're but also an adult. So you'll be a bit like in uh, high school when you're around 17, 18 years old. Yeah. Um, and also females. Yeah, both oh, and girls. Boys and girls. Mm -hmm. Um, in this workshop, we have say people to them, also known as K24. Um, this gun can shoot the semi-automatic rifle or mm. sniper. Yeah. And you can switch all the bayonets on the top to use as a spear when you run out bullets. Oh, yeah. Yeah. In this one, we have the M16. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. like, full of metal, look very badass. So, must yeah, be yeah. from America. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, for this one, it's like the most modernized weapon at the time, but it's not very suitable for the war. Because they clocked. Mm -hmm. yeah. they, they what? It's they too clocked. complicated, so it oh. often gets jammed, gets stuck. Yeah. So, especially in this kind of war, there's a lot of mud and water. Yeah, yeah. So understand. it's stuck a lot. Uh, this is how Viet Cong soldiers looked like back in the Vietnam War. They had two kinds of uniform, the black one and the green one. The black one used for guerrilla fighters, so it looked exactly like exactly like clothes of Vietnamese farmers. Oh. So that means they can easily throw all the equipment away and blame it with local people. Oh, okay. And U.S. soldiers would have no way to tell who's who. Yeah. And um, this, uh, the green color, the green uniform would be for higher ranking official soldiers. Yeah. So um, most of whom were sent here from the north of Vietnam, so they had to move through the mountains and the mm -hmm. forest so that's why they wore the green color uh, this emblem it represents the flag of national liberation front mm -hmm. which is the uh, official name of the Viet Cong and this um, scarf it was like a signature piece of clothing 
for the farmers yeah. in this area, in this region. Yeah. Uh, and the Viet Cong could use it to cover their faces when they were fighting. Yeah. They could use it to clean the sweat or to even filter the water. Oh, yeah. And they took a few things from US soldiers to reuse. A torch, a belt and a water container. And they usually carry a hammock with them. Yeah. So they can hang between trees like that yeah. to have a rest between battles. Or um, there's another function for the hammock, that, which we'll get into later. Um, those are rubber sandals they're wearing. So. Uh, the sandals are made from tires right. and they are very durable and they are also more comfortable because they will dry out quickly when you have to cross rivers. Yeah, and I was thinking that. You, yeah. When you fight in the Vietnamese forest, there are a lot of rivers and canals to cross. Yeah. So uh, as opposed to the heavy boots that US soldiers wear, which will stay wet and possibly give you foot disease. Yeah, yeah. Smart, isn't it? Yeah. Now, um, one thing to bear in mind is this here is not the uh, actual size of the Vietnamese back then. They were much smaller than this. Yeah. We were, uh, we're talking 150 centimeters tall and 40, 45 kilograms oh. average. So definitely not attractive like this. <laughs> <laughs> Curvy. <laughs> 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 Um, we were right here this morning, oh, yeah. Saigon City, the center. Yes. Oh. Um, we are right now, right here, oh. which is further from the city center, around 70 kilometers. Mm. Um, normally, uh, the other tours want to take you to this closer entrance. It's just around 50 kilometers far away. Uh -huh, okay. So it's full of people, yeah. very touristy. Uh, okay. yeah. That's why it's way, always better. Oh. <coughs> How cool so, is that? <laughs> Let's go to the color zone. With the red color, yeah. or the color, the red color area, this is called the liberated zone. Oh. In short, it's just like where the tunnel is located underneath. Okay. <coughs> all the black lines here yeah. are the tunnel system. Okay. Yeah. You can see it's all linked with each other. Yes. Allow them to make very sudden attack and withdraw really fast. Yes. Also, a lot of red dots here. Yeah. It's called the fighting oh, bunkers. Yeah. Um, we will elucidate the yeah. what is the fighting bunkers for you later, not now. Okay. Um, to the thing zone, it's called the conflict zone. In <sighs> shot, it's just like um, battlefield. In the morning, it belongs to the American. Yeah. At night, it belongs to the BC. No one stay in those area. Okay. So for the ring color is the fruit plantation and the rubber plantation. So there's a few black lines here, which yeah. means that there are some tunnels. tunnels here. So um, there's uh, two periods that they dug the tunnel. Yeah. The first period was in the French colonial era. Okay. Um, that time they dug the tunnel it's in those fruit plantation area. Wow. Just with the purpose to become a bum shelter or a oh. like a um, storage. Yeah. So just one way in, one way out. Yeah. Not uh, suitable for fighting. Yeah. Also, it's when the Americans came here and they took our uh, controlled countries, like yeah. the South, they already know about those locations. Yeah. That's yeah, why the okay. BCs had to use uh -huh. another. Yeah. Um, this is the second period that they dug the tunnel yeah. for the whole 20 years. Yeah. And the total length of the tunnel system here is up to 250 kilometers. Okay. Cool. One can even lead you to Cambodia. Mm. Wow. Um, those blue triangle here is the American based. They are three biggest banks. This uh. one, okay. this one, and this one. Together, it's formed like a triangle. Yes. Um, they were called the Iron Triangle. So um, this would be a typical structure or layout of the tunnel system. Mm -hmm. So there would be uh, three levels of tunnels. Yeah. And the first one would be about three meters underground. The My second God. one is five or six, and the last one is from ten to twelve at the deepest points. Yeah. And because they could only get sufficient oxygen on the first level, yeah. So that's where they had most of their daily activities. Yeah. And you can see this is uh, a meeting room, a kitchen, a sleeping room, yes. a storage, and a fighting bunker. 
Now next to the kitchen here you can see there are some smaller chambers yeah. so they would put uh, cotton and leaves into these chambers yeah. to slow down the smoke and they would even cook very early in the morning so when the smoke goes through all the filtering chambers yeah. it goes up here it would be just a little bit of smoke which would be mixed with morning fog yeah, yeah. so from a distance it would be very difficult for you a soldier to see to see but even if you don't see it yeah. let's say if you walk around here you can smell the smoke ah. and you find that it's coming out from here yeah. and you are uh, you call an airstrike to come bomb this place because you are assuming that there are tunnels yeah. underneath yeah. but in reality this distance would be from 50 to 100 meters so even if yeah. from the smoke hole to the uh, ah, kitchen okay. so even if the smoke hole area is bombed the yeah. kitchen will still be safe ah, okay. and this here uh, would be a ventilation shop yeah. made using hollow bamboo sticks yeah. wow unbelievable and, uh, this is uh, a bomb shelter because the uh, triangular structure is stronger, stronger yeah. oh wow this is a water well so you can see the surface was bombed heavily yeah. so it would be very dangerous for the VC to walk out in the open to go to the river to get water from yeah so that's why they had to get their water supply, supply from down here yeah and um, that's an exit to yeah. the second river oh it is yeah and you can see there are also uh, traps, traps rip traps oh, yeah. inside the tunnel system. So because uh, in the Vietnam War, the US, Australia and New Zealand had a unit called Tunnel Rat. So basically they would recruit uh, small side soldiers uh, to get down over there. Oh, okay. uh, it's quite short. Yeah. Okay. It's going to be good. <laughs> Okay. Can, would this fit in? Would this fit in? Do you want me to hold your backpack? Yeah, that would be nice. Here we go, this is what it's all about. I'm gonna feel quite at home here. <laughs> Shit. Whoa. Oh, just steps. Right. Right. Well, I see black. It was Oh, okay. Obviously, it out the light from the entrance. Yeah. Like, so the fire and all sort of stuff. It was always dark. Oh, it's always dark because they want to stay away from the enemy side. Oh, yeah. I can't be so. Hello. Yeah. That way, I'm going to take a picture of him first. Oh, okay. okay. I'll take a picture for you later. Wow. Yep. Wow. Yeah. Right? Because yeah, this is red. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, stay right there.
Wow, how cool is that? Oh, it's the vibe. <laughs> Insect hill. Okay, how about you? What's your guess about this thing? Oh, the fog is. Yeah, the fog is, it'll be so interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, it's actually a uh, ventilation hole in the sky. Oh, okay. oh man, who would have guessed so it? So, you were seeing ants hill like a lot of people think it's an ant hill too, or a yeah. termite mount. Yeah, a termite mount. I just thought it was a rock. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I thought it was a rock. Um, well, technically, yes. <laughs> so there are a lot of uh, termite mounts in yeah. this region. Yeah. That one, for example. So by doing this, yeah. which at that time would be better camouflage, not this, yeah. like this. So basically, by doing this, they would confuse uh, US soldiers. Yeah. And so US soldiers used canine dogs to sniff the hole so they could pump water or poisonous gas inside. To flush the VCs out. Wow. So the VC had to come up with some way to prevent that. So uh, first they used chili and pepper powder to put inside. So when the dog smelled the chili, they'll sneeze and run away. But over time, uh, American soldiers learned about the weird behavior of the dogs. Yeah. And Vietnam is a tropical country, so it rains a lot. And after the rain, everything is washed away. So they had to think of another way to do it. Yeah. So uh, they then took the clothes from dead American soldiers and cut into smaller pieces yeah. and then mixed with the clay and put it inside. So when the dogs smell the clothes, they would think that their owners are inside and they would just ignore it and go away. Yeah. I think there should be a trap door here. Yes. Yeah. I think you can see it. Trap door somewhere. It's somewhere here. Oh, yeah, very distinct. Yeah. Bat VC. <laughs> How did you pick that out? <laughs> Whoop, just a bat VC. <laughs> yeah. The dot house. Can you hop the picture and go for you? Oh my god. Oh yeah. Um, Anyone allowed to add that one? Yeah. So you will see me both ways from when I get in now and wait for you to start. Yeah, okay, you you're ready? going in. Yeah. We're going in. Mm -hmm. Or you're going in. Or both. He's going <laughs> fast. Yeah. Uh, if you don't want to go, you turn I will, I will go first. Oh, you, you want to go this one? Or that one? I think, uh -huh. I think you better go that uh -huh. one. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, so uh, before you get in, yeah. the widest part of your body is your shoulder, so you have to push your hands up. Oh, really? Yeah. Will I fit into that one okay? I should. Oh, yeah. I think. Are you going in first or do it? Oh, are you going? Oh, my God. Am I... Should I go oh, yeah. in? Yeah, it's, it's, Are you down there? It oh, right, right. Are you, should I come, oh, come in now? To, oh, no, we've got to go the other way to, to get in. out. Do you want to get in? Can I? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Okay, let me just... Oh, okay. There's a step. Wow, I just fit in. How cool is that? Hello, I'm here. Oh, do you have a flashlight? Uh, well, that was easy though. Okay. And to the right? Yes. Yeah, I feel him like a pillow. <laughs> wow. To the left. Hi, 
Oh, this one. Let's go that way. Not, not that way. <laughs> Yeah, you're not kidding. Oh, there's a little hole there. I know it's the alley, but I see it over there. Oh, this is the uh, where they shoot out, is that right? Oh, yeah. Can you see? Yeah, I can. Oh, I see Alex. Yes. Yeah, it's tricky. So let's shoot out again. You can just check the picture. Yeah, I'll, I don't see it, but it's okay. Oh, come on. Yeah. Oh, that's the lights. Uh, I'll feel my way down. Yeah. 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 Five star hotel down there. <laughs> <laughs> it's really cool. There are some advantages to being small yeah. after all. <laughs> that is amazing, really is. Oh, we're not at picked um, a trap door there at all. bamboo sticks, yeah. then burn them, then dip them into cold water to make them strong enough to penetrate through your body. Yeah. Then there's rumour that they would even put uh, human feces and animal's blood onto the tips of the sticks uh, to cause infection. Yeah. But that is if you somehow miraculously survive the fall into this yeah. one. That you still die of the disease. Yeah. But anyway, uh, traps oh my God. like this one, uh, they are meant to be used for psychological warfare because yeah. when you see your teammates falls in here yeah. you are demoralized you don't want oh. to the next yeah. one you just want to go home and yeah because only, it only to... kills off one person and destroy the morale of a whole company oh yeah <laughs> and um, if a soldier falls in here and the spikes don't go through his right organ yeah. then he would have to yeah. suffer for hours then he would scream for help from his teammates yeah. and then the VC would be around here waiting of course but the Americans used a lot of other they also were a little bit uh... oh what's this Well, this is a big. This is a big hole. Yes. I'll be quite disappointed. So uh, this is is the waiting room where the biggest soldier was come to stay and wait for their operations. Yeah. And because back in the war they didn't have enough doctors to work with all the patients, so yeah. they would have to wait for a very long time. Yeah. And a lot of the soldiers died waiting for their turn to get the surgery. And you can see this uh, tunnel is slightly taller than usual. Yeah. It's meant to be like that so they could carry the wounded soldiers easier. Okay. Cool. Yeah. All right. Are we going through? 
Look at this. Oh, no, I'm okay. So this is how they would have an operation oh. in the wartime. And because back then they couldn't get enough medical supplies to use. Yeah. Uh, so that means there was no anesthesia, there was no antibiotic, no painkillers. They would have to perform raw operations mm. very often. And even then, because of the lack of experience from the doctors, it was much easier for them to just amputate your limb than yeah. to try and get the bullets out of it. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Operating under these conditions. I would expect it to be really cooler underground, but it's actually more warmer. Yeah. It's humid. It's really humid. Oh. This is how they would carry a injured soldier. So they would use um, the hammock as yeah. his body back. Oh. Uh, they couldn't make it. And they would try to write his name onto the inside and then wrap it around his body and then bury him. But it's uh, fabric. It would decay over time. So. Mm. It won't be the same after 10, 20 years. And uh, from excavations, people have discovered a lot of identified skeletons. We should hurry up, there's a party waiting for us. Okay. What was that, sorry? 30 meters. 30? 30. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Alright. Yeah. Let's do this. Yeah. Okay. I can't see where you are. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> that was <look> scary down there. <laughs> Are you stuck? <laughs> That's a workout. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you, you got it. Oh, you got out. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> I got the real experience. We go up. Oh thank god. <laughs> you would have had um shoes getting stuck if they tried to go down. Yeah. They, they would have gotten stuck. Troops. Soldiers. Yeah, prop the yeah, I'm guessing they they rectangle under the stand. Yeah, the loopy trap. Oh when you feel happy when you're done. <laughs> oh, I'm cutting the bomb. It's very tricky. Oh, the bomb. The what? Bomb. I thought it was a tree bomb. To disarm it or what? what? To, uh, they want to cut it open to get the explosive powder oh. inside. Wow. Did a. Uh... Oh, wow. They are using, you see, a handsaw, yeah. that would be metal on metal, it would create sparks. Yeah. So it would ignite the bomb that would explode and killing the whole room. Yeah. Uh, so he would pour water onto it to cool it down. <laughs> many would, many of these would explode. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I would get. Oh yeah. Huge yeah. Up. yeah. When you think about a bomb and people cut it. Yeah, I never would cut a bomb. <laughs> Traps. Booby traps. <laughs> So this yeah. is the movie yeah. trap, you already saw it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, What's this one? It's, it's the balance the trap. The also known as the oh. seaside oh. trap. So it's going to be set up like this, mm. um, well covered yeah. with the brush on the surface. When you step on it, <laughs> oh, wow. either your face or your back, it's going to be full nerve. Oh, but this one is also This one is used to be the fish, uh, fish trap. Mm. So it is look like a basket and we're gonna put it in the river, like in the river gate. Oh, really? So it's the other yeah. fish come in, they can't get out. Yeah. Then it just makes oh, it so bigger. Oh, just a fish trap. Yeah. I'll make it bigger. <laughs> put it underneath. So when those American soldiers jump yeah, yeah. up from the helicopter, they jump straight into this. Oh, thing. God. And it's as the basic reaction, they're gonna try to pull it out. Yeah, make then, it worse. Oh yeah, they will, won't oh, they? You can see it's on the spike. I twist it. Yeah. They twist it right here. Yeah. So you can't just take it out like normal. Yeah. You just have only two options for this one: amputate your legs and leave it there, or have to cut, dig the whole trap out, bring it back to the hospital, and then to cut all the trap out. That's so the up and call is like the souvenir trap. The souvenir <laughs> trap. That's. Oh. <laughs> Okay. This one is an armpit trap. But when you walk in the middle, it will stop in your armpit. Oh. For the original one, God. it's gonna be much deeper. 
Mm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I just want to hang you like this. Yeah. Um, torture, I get more information, whatever. Oh. That's gross. <laughs> <laughs> so this one, walk in the same function with that armpit. But this time it's going to stuff in the belly. Oh. Destroy those vital Four organs. Yeah. This one mean to kill. Yeah. This one, it's just a uh, full body massage. Yeah, <laughs> <it's> like, <laughs> this one is a uh, sticking trap. So all the spikes want to be inside. Yeah. What's inside? The spike here. Oh yeah. Like when oh. you stick it, it's going to shoot out. Yeah. It's um. Mm -hmm. I can I can understand why it, this would really demoral demoralize you. Like, you know, take, take, you out, one, take out one person, but demoralize the whole you company. Have, like, yeah, one yeah. person that falls in such a trap, I would like not want to walk anymore. Yeah, like, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> I'm done. Yes, it's uh, it's okay for me. Yeah. <laughs> and this this one. Um, the last one is the door trap. Yeah. So enemies are often kick the door. So oh. they hang this one on the ceiling, so they kick the door, this one came out. Oh. For some weird gun soldiers, they're going to be fast enough to give the gun to stop this part. Yeah. But the lower part still moving. Oh. Which yeah. means no more baby. No How more babies. clever. <laughs> Are these all Grenades. real or is it reproduction? Yeah. I, I reckon they're real, but... These would be replicas. Yeah. Oh. I mean, they would—they look old. That's the reason. They wouldn't really display a trap that literally killed <laughs> yeah, people. Yeah, but maybe some. <laughs> yeah, true. You never that's, know. Uh, you never well, know. this just might be. Un these are grenades, right? Uh, these are. Like yeah. Uh, mines. Like, so these are originally bombs from cluster bombs. Mm. Uh. So there are a lot of mini bombs like this one in a big cluster bomb. So these are the uh, the VC would take the unexploded ones, and. Put them like this, and put it under uh, tank tracks to destroy oh. to Im immobilize the oh, that, tank. So these are traps. That's a trap as well. Is that right? Ball gun. It's ball gun. What? Yeah. Oh. Well, I thought it was just a display, but it's not. It's a natural trap. Oh wow. <laughs> the trap. The trap. Tourist trap. Oh, okay, tourist trap. <laughs> <laughs>